What's up, family? Without question, Candace Owens is one of the most despicable sellouts to ever crawl the planet. With her latest asinine comments, Candace once again managed to get dragged all the way to coconut hell. What is coconut hell? That's where the black folks who are black on the outside and white on the inside go when they're out of pocket. So what does this mammy say this time? Fam, uh, she said that she don't understand why black celebrities don't live in black neighborhoods. Why do all the black celebrities live in white neighborhoods? Candace would do anything for some buttermilk biscuits. I mean, that girl dance on cue. She wake up every morning trying to figure out how she can do the work of white supremacy. How can she further divide people? How can she throw her own people under the bus? Fam, do you realize that Candace has never, since she got her settlement, her, her racial discrimination settlement from white folks, she has never called white folks out collectively. But she does this time and time and time and time again with black folks. This is why you should never credit her for anything. Like you should never, and no black person should ever give her credit for anything because even a broken clock is right twice a day. So just because she says a few things and you go like, really, that is true. Well, you know, she, she got your own money right there. Man, don't ever give her public credit. If you acknowledge something, man, don't acknowledge it publicly. Never, never, never publicly praise your enemies. Candace Owens is an open enemy to black folks. You think just because she's not in a gang, because she's not waving guns, because she's not spewing profanity on hip hop records, that she's somehow an asset? Candace Owens is a liability. She is an enemy. If you can't see that, you're an enemy. Something is really wrong with you. There's a lot of black people that wake up every day and go do the work of white supremacy. And they're far more dangerous than that guy selling the rock on the corner. Far more dangerous. Because they plant seeds in the minds of people, in the minds of millions of people. What they do, their actions affect millions of people. They're the ones out there who are making, if you think your life is hard because of white supremacy, it's people like Candace that makes it harder because she makes those people out there who feel like you are less than think that they're right about their behavior. She makes them think that you deserve whatever you get. She got an excuse for all of their bad behavior and you trying to ride with her, something is wrong with you. Really, something's got to be wrong with you. Let me give a stab at answering Candace's question as to why don't black celebrities live in black neighborhoods. First of all, she's insinuating that all black neighborhoods are poor. Watch it, fam. You got to listen. Listen to her. It's not a racial issue. It's a class issue. No rich people are going to set up shop in a poor neighborhood. Rich people live in rich neighborhoods. Poor people live in poor neighborhoods. The bigger question is, why is there so much separation? See, Candace don't want to answer that question. Yeah, man. 
because Massa going to pop across the head. Bam, girl, what the hell are you doing? You trying to expose us? Candace don't want to answer that question because Candace is part of the problem. She's a black celebrity. Why doesn't Candace Owens live in a black neighborhood? Why isn't Candace Owens asking rich white folks how come they don't live in trailer parks? Candace has a thing for LeBron James. I think Perhaps LeBron is the one that she can't get. She's jealous of LeBron's wife, his kids, that blackness, that lifestyle. The fact that they're revered, that black people actually love them. She's jealous of that. She's jealous of the fact that LeBron actually gives back to the community from which he came. He's actually helping black people, you know, and, you know, that's kind of dangerous for people that don't like black people. Anytime you're helping black folks, are you going to become a target? See, that's one of the easiest ways to tell who's on your side. If they're black and the establishment loves them, like really loves them where they can't do no wrong, like a Charles Barkley, they're not for you. If the establishment attacks them, if the mainstream constantly is on them, if Candace doesn't like it, you're probably good for the people. Not always, not always, because you know she will actually point out some people who are really detrimental to the community. She's good at that, and that's where she gets some of y'all. She throw y'all off. She'll throw some of those in, and you'll be like, yeah, 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 get them, Candace. You're right, get them, Candace. Oh, wow. getting you from the back. You have no idea. Anyway, fam, drop a comment. Let me know what y'all think about this. I'd love to hear your thoughts. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.